Hello there and welcome to Bite Size. Wait for it. English. Jamar, could you tell our friends what today's program is about? Sure. Today we're learning some helpful vocabulary you might use at the pharmacy. And we're also going to be talking about alternative ways of treatment, the alternative medicine. That's one of your favorite words. What? Alternative medicine, alternative rock, alternative sources of energy. Is it so bad? No, it's just an observation. Okay, here is my observation. I think you traditionally stick too much to all kinds of traditional traditions. No, I don't think so. Okay, and now it's time for our traditional role play. Uh, what? It's our tradition, isn't it? Yes, it is. Well, let's go and role play, Mr. Traditionalist. Hi, welcome to Bite Size Pharmacy. How may I help you? Hi there, I'd like to pick up a prescription. Uh, give me the doctor's note. Here it is. We've got this medicine in pill, mixture, lozenges, spray, powder. What do you choose? Uh, I have no idea. Which one could be best for me? None of them. How come? Because of side effects. Does it have any side effects? Of course it does. Everything has its side effects. This particular medicine can lead to high temperature, cough, allergic reaction, headache, eating disorder. Oh, okay, I got it. What would you recommend then? Have you ever heard about homeopathy? Homeopathy? It's when a sick person can be healed using the rebound effect of a substance that produces the same symptoms of the illness in a healthy person. What are your symptoms? Headache? Cough? <coughs> yes. So, I'll prepare the substance causing the same symptoms. But you just told me about side effects. Hello, may I ask what's going on here? You said that you would never try to implement your homeopathic methods again. Homeopathy? I heard that homeopathy is considered to be a pseudoscience using water with something as a main remedy. It's still quite polemic. The concepts of the alternative medicine were mentioned in the ancient scriptures of India, China, Egypt and almost all ancient civilizations of the world. In India, the alternative medicine was known as Vedic medicine or Ayurveda. Ayurveda has been practiced for thousands and thousands of years and is still in practice. The aim of Ayurveda medicine is balancing the harmony of mind, soul and body. In China, alternative medicine was practiced for centuries and its concept is based on Taoist philosophy. You must be also aware of the term acupuncture which is popular even today. Chinese treated the human mind and body and not the disease. They believed a strong human body could never fall sick. In the Western world, the alternative medicine was practiced as herbalism, hydrotherapy and naturopathy. Okay, Jumar, before we go, there's just time for you to remind us of some of the vocabulary we've learned today. We heard medicine or remedy prescription, pills, mixture, lozenges, spray, powder, side effect, for example, cough, allergic reaction, headache, eating disorder, alternative medicine, homeopathy, Ayurveda, acupuncture, herbalism, hydrotherapy, and naturopathy. Thanks, Jamar. You're welcome, Alika. I'm afraid that next time you won't have any alternative options but revising the vocabulary yourself because you haven't done that for ages. All right, do join us again for another traditional episode of Bite Test English. Bye for now. Bye.